you're going down to the shop and buying yourself a sweet. Dope, grass, ease, heroin, uh, mat, crystal, meth, uh, coke, uh, magic mushrooms, blues, speed balls, speed. And there's my dealer coming now. <laughs> <laughs> If you wanted coke or anything like that, you'd mostly get it in the weekend, like you know, because that, that's a drug you know that would keep you up for a party and you know for the you know Friday and Saturday, like. and then some people mix mix it with all sorts of. Like. You don't know what you're taking. One of my best mates died over them. Just too much drugs in the system, like. methadone and blues. But see, when you mix different kind of drugs, Mac, it's like water and electric, if you know what I mean. It just just doesn't mix, like. Or you so, just turn 21, like. You're young enough. It's young, like. That's mainly why I got out of it, like. Taste. Blocked. So they are pay out. Chim bar wallop. Yeah, I'd rather just sit and have a few giants like you know what I mean? I wouldn't be I'd, I'd used to be into all that there running around pay out like but just grow out of it so you do, you know? Now, a few giants like doesn't hurt nobody. I suppose when you get a job when you're older and all you can't go in stone. Unless you're a drug dealer like that's <laughs> But you know people on the weekend, you know you know that selling coke. People ring them up at three o'clock in the morning and all, and they have to take a bit of coke themselves to stay up. To go and give it to them, you know, to make money, if you know what I mean. I know people who go to house parties and stuff like that, and who walk in, walk in with hundred pound, and come out with about two grand in their pocket, selling stuff in the house, and that's just in the house. I would drink down here in the weekends if people were drinking down here. Like, go down to court every Friday morning, you down with hangover, some judge turned down your neck. Well, this is where people would drink, you know, to come out of the rain and stuff, and it's just a spot to come in out of the, you know, when it starts raining or something. They got there. And sometimes people, you know, they had fighting here and stuff like that there. Like, so I've seen people cut, cut, like, cut open, like, with their arm, you know, like, fall and stuff like that there. I've seen, a, like, a, like, a pipe going into a boy's hand. So I did, and a boy fell through that there roof there. He was in drugs, like, etabs or stuff like that there. Just pills. Took too much. Didn't know what he was doing. Thought he was invincible. Climbed up round there and fell through the roof and landed on his ass. Just makes you feel like you can do anything, like Superman. So there's a there's a community centre down the road and all, but people don't go to that. Like, it's just pure rack. I think that's where the car went through, or somebody's head. <laughs> this fella talked about, I know, 15 age or something, on how to be f***ing pumped out and stuff. Well, it's up to their styles, like, but it's probably. Not the right thing to do, like. Some of them can be quite dangerous, and if you took one of the bad ones, it'd freaking kill you or something. I suppose none of them are good at all, but the worst kind of ones would be A's and stuff, and heroin and coke and all that. They're real drug takers or alcoholics in the family at all. I wouldn't drink that much, really. I remember taking a flatliner, it's a type of shot, and then I must have talked a few more of them and don't remember anything after that. Fallen about a hundred times apparently and God knows what would have happened. Never again. But a good experience, don't want to experience it again. I really say not anyone on drugs, it's just people who are drinking them. Some could be violent and get into fights and stuff. Uh, but I've never seen them taking them. They've took grass and stuff. That's really it. Like. I will, I moved from Klein to Kirkstown, but it's flat out, like there's drugs every road in Kirkstown. Biting the lips of ourselves and falling all over the place and I can control my drink, put it that way. Like. Take joints and all the odd time, like, but never been in a bad state or nothing. I did pass out one time, like, but I don't think it was, I wasn't drinking or nothing, like, I wasn't taking on or anything, so I just don't know what it was. Might have got or something, I might know. Grass, brown. The only drugs I would take are joints. Good, like. It relaxes you and just makes you calm and it'll just laugh your head off and nothing matters like you're just laying there just all in your own wee world like. A lot of ones take joints around Cooks and that's the main attraction around Cooks is everyone taking joints. Well, I don't know, it's good and uh, it depends how much you take it. Because if you take it so much you get really, really paranoid and your head be racked and you're just a mess like. But if you're really, really stressed out and you take a joint then it's actually quite good. No, everyone I've seen taking it is just alright with like. It doesn't affect people anyway, it only makes them paranoid. I don't agree with people taking A's and all that there, but I can't say I don't agree with people taking joints. Well, you see, I really don't have to spend the money out, like, because my boyfriend, <laughs> he gets it free. 
And then loads of ones I know smoke as well, so then they just make you join if you're looking one and give it over to you. People that like, like have arthritis, and if they go to the doctors, then they get free grass for their pains and all. Like they're giving it, and then some people that actually get that from the doctors, then they sell it on and make money. That's what everyone does, sells it on and makes more and more money, and just think it's great. Like, keep some and then they weigh it out, and then keep some for themselves, and then sell the rest on. Uh, there's a lot of drugs, like, not a drink, hey. We get knocked out and all, and maybe the odd one getting stabbed and everything, like. It's, it's all about Catholics and Protestants around here, like. If there's Catholic fella walking past here, like, they all jump them like they would. So it's all about, mostly these young fellas, about 16, 17, like, shouting UVF and everything, like, that's what it's mostly all about, like. Ah, yeah, they're, they're all drinking, like, whenever, you, whenever they're by themselves, like, they're all nicey-nicey, but whenever they're in a gang, like, no, there was a man here a couple of weeks ago, he was knocked out and he got 11 stitches in his throat there, he did. And it was all over religion, like. And there was a man about, about 30 years old, like. And these fellas jumped him and they are only about 17, like. Then I found him and he was just knocked out. He didn't know his name for about at least 20 minutes after. Then took him to the hospital and everything. Fractured jawbone, black eyes, um, 11 inches, or 11, 11 stitches across his neck. But it's bad estate, like, you know. I wouldn't really rear children up in this estate, like, you know bad atmosphere, like, you know, religion and all, like, uh, you don't really want to rear a child up here, like, you know, especially going to get mixed up with this stuff, like, you know, not over religion and all, like, out there, like, you rather wear them in a different state, a better state. I'm from Dungan and I'm 18. I've taken ease, coke, math, smoke, grass with chili out, like, so I'll be alright, like, and Coke's dead on to take as well. The worst day I've ever been uh, is when I was in Magic. We were in this palace flat, me and a couple of ones, and uh, what do you call it? It was completely <laughs> off my face, like I was chewing the face myself and everything. I felt like because <laughs> you get a good buzz of it. Local taxi drivers around Dung Yanla, 15 a gram, give us a couple bags, and then they come up, give us it. If it was like say three of us taking it, you'd have to get a couple of grams. Like. No girl had died on it, sort of. She was uh, in her boyfriend's and uh, they were taking meth, but they were drinking as well. And she went home the next day or something and she, uh, she was still taking the meth. And I don't know, she must have died. Nobody knows what actually happened. It's sad for the girl, like she has a child now. Like. I knew her, I knew of her, like, you know, she would hang around with friends of mine, like, but. Not one of being real good friends, really. It hasn't happened to any ones that I really don't like. You know, one of my mates, like any of my three mates, like. So if it happened, if it happened to one of my mates, like, f that, like. You know, you're gonna die anyway. Like, you might as well die to happy. Taking something that you do, you get a buzz off, or you want to do, like.